Hi and welcome to the Incite My Life channel. Today I want to talk about expanding terms. So to begin, let's learn how to FOIL, F-O-I-L, and that stands for the first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, and the last terms. So what you do is you multiply those terms together. So for instance, the first would be A times A, and then you just put them all together, as you can see here, A times A, AB, BA, and BB. So now let's try and do this with an actual set of binomials. So remember FOIL, first, outside, inside, last. So first terms would be X times X, outside terms would be 2 times X, inside would be 1 times X, and last would be 1 times 2. Put it all together and you have x, x, 2x, 1x, and 1 times 2. And if we simplify that, that's x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. Simplify it again to get x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, binomial expansion, what that means is that you can actually take a two-term type of problem and expand it into a larger set of terms. So, for instance, if you see x or whatever in a binomial, so x plus something or x minus something. So the power automatically tells you to repeat it. So you see we have x plus 1 squared. That means you're doing it twice. You're doing x plus 1 times x plus 1. So then from here, just FOIL that out. So first, outside, inside, last, and then put it together to get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now there is a way to expand binomials known as the binomial expansion theorem. And I know that initially this is probably gonna look a little bit scary, but basically, what, and I'll show you by an example here, basically what this is saying is that the first term is going to decrease in power, whereas the second term is going to increase in power. And that NK, that stands for the combination. So it's a formula that you use, I have it listed there. Now, if you don't want to do the formula by hand, totally understandable. I'll show you another way using Pascal's triangle, but if you don't want to do it by hand, then just plug it into your calculator using the combination button, and that should be a button that looks like NCR. But anyway, you can see the formula that I have listed there and how that works. The exclamation point is the factorial, meaning that you multiply every number uh, from the actual number all the way to 1. So anyway, we continue on. So x plus 1 squared, the way we would expand that, since the power is 2, that means we're saying how many ways out of 2 can you choose 0? And there's only one way. And then notice that the first term, which is x, is the largest number, so 2, minus the number that we're picking, so 0. And then the other number, the 1 that was in the binomial, is to the 0 power, so it's the lower number. Now when we continue, the 0 notice is going to increase to 1 in the combination formula. But then notice also that the degree on the variable is going to decrease, and the degree on the number is going to increase. So the degrees are decreasing for the variable and increasing for the number. So if we were to simplify this, we would have x squared plus 2x plus 1. And I know that this might be a little bit confusing at this point, but I am going to cover it again uh, in a practice problem. So now a way that we can remember the coefficients without having to do that combination thing is by using Pascal's triangle. So you can take a look at this triangle here, and I'm going to show you how this works. So we start out with the number 1, and then you're going to write a 1 and a 1 beneath it. And then from here, you're going to develop your uh, you're going to develop your triangle by adding up the numbers. So you start out with a 1 on the end, and then what goes in between 1 and 1? Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then drop your 1. And then you continue the process, so it's 1, and then 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then leave a 1 on the outside. And you just keep building up this triangle. So what it means is that the first term is for any binomial to the 0 power, and then this is any binomial to the first power, any binomial to the second, and then third, fourth, and it just keeps going on. So this is a quick way to remember the coefficients for binomial expansions. 
Now multiplying trinomials is a little bit more tricky and the reason being is because we have three different type of distributions to that have to happen. So the first is we're taking x squared and we're multiplying it to all of those terms in the other parentheses. And then we're adding that to the next set of terms that we multiply, which we're adding also to the next set of terms that we multiply. So altogether you're going to have a big mess like this. So that's just going to be about nine terms that you're multiplying together and then you simplify that and then combine like terms and you get your final answer. So multiplying trinomials is not necessarily difficult, it's more tedious because you have to do each distribution. So just remember the pattern, it's very it's very methodical. So the first term goes into all three of the other parentheses and then you go on to the second term which goes into all three and you repeat it with the last term. So now let's do some practice problems. So we're going to expand the following. x minus 2 squared, x minus 2 cubed, and x minus 2 to the fourth power. So to begin, here's our first practice problem. And this one should be fairly straightforward. It's going to be foiling. So we're going to do x minus 2, x minus 2. And remember, it's first, outside, inside, last. So when we do that, that would give us this, so our first outside, inside, and last terms, and simplify that by combining like terms, and there's your answer. Now let's try this one. So what I did for this one is I used the binomial expansion theorem. So remember the three, it's three choose zero to begin, and then the exponent is to the third power on the variable, whereas the exponent on the number is zero. And then we increase it, so it's 3 to 1, and then x squared. So we're decreasing that, and we're increasing the number, so negative 2 to the first power. And then we go 3, 2, decrease the variable, increase the number, and then we go 3, 3. Finally, completely decrease the variable and increase the number. So if you simplify this, and you can use a calculator, or you can go back and use the, um, the formula for it, what we're going to get is x cubed plus 3 times negative 2x squared plus 3 times 4x plus 1 times negative 8. Simplify that and you get x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. And now for our final problem. So what we could do here is remember that x minus 2 squared, that was our first practice problem. So if it's x minus 2 to the fourth, we're doing two trinomials together. So what we're going to do, remember the process. That first term goes into the three terms in the other parentheses, and that second term in the first parentheses goes into three in the other, and you just simplify it to get that, combine your like terms, and finish it off. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave any feedback. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye.